Okay, we're going to look at the MLA, some examples. It's through examples that we can really learn the details. So let's go ahead and begin on that. Garzanga, 1967, flash pictures to the right or left visual field of each patient whose corpus alessum had been surgically severed. So of course, right away we can see there's a problem because we have a year. In MLA, we don't include the year. Rather, we include page numbers. And in this case, we just have Garzella, Garze, Garzanglia, Garzangiga, or whatever. But we have no page number because it's just referencing the whole general work. So it could be the whole paper in general. In one of the earliest studies, Anid, Sheena, and Sign, 1961, researchers presented a variety of stimuli to Yogi as he meditated. And then we have a second sentence. Anij, Sheena, and Sign reported no disruption of the yogi's alpha wave as indicated by EEG recording by a tuning fork or a hand clap. So we have two sentences. We have two references to the same paper. But right away, you can see there's a problem here. We've got the year, which we know is not right. We also know that we have one, two, three authors. And in MLA, we don't do that. In MLA style, if you have three or more authors you use at all, even the very first time in the paper, which is different from APA style. And then the second part, we go ahead and reference them the same way again. Now here we have no page number because again, we're looking at the overall paper, which is okay. But usually we would include a page number to be a little bit more specific. Personality changes may also occur later in life. New Garten, patterns of aging and extending the human lifespan, semicolon, you see the semicolon there, right? Semicolon, Newgarten and Hagestad, 1967. So clearly 1967 is wrong because we do not include years in MLA. But what kind of case do we have here? This is something a little bit interesting. So let's take a look at this. Newgarten is an author. Newgarten and Hagstad are authors together on one paper. We have two, so we use the and here. That's also different than the APA. We do not use the ampersand in MLA, no. So we're inside the parentheses, but still we use the word A and D. Here what we have is Newgarten is the author, but he's the author of one work here and another work here. So we have, we're citing two sources, but by the same author. And in this case, we see they have quotation marks, which means it's a chapter of a book, or it's a smaller part of something that's bigger. So we are making three citations here, but two are by the same author. The concept of chunking was introduced by Miller. Miller 154. What is 154? 154 is the page number. But of course, we do not need to repeat the name here. The correct way for this would be simply Miller and then the page number is here. Other authors focus on the role of effect. Gozank, American Psychologist, 1984, page 36. Well, we can see that this is a problem. This doesn't look right at all for MLA. Of course, in the MLA, we keep it simple. We just have the author and the page. Of course, we don't include the journal or the year or any other details like that. No commas either.